Well, good morning and uh, happy Advent as uh, the second week of Advent unfolds. There's a shift from the first to the second week. And, and so there's a shift in our own pilgrimage as we gently transition from the Annunciation into the Visitation. As we transition from the angel Gabriel in Mary's life to Elizabeth in Mary's life. And of course, that transition comes to us in Luke chapter 1, verse 39, as it says that Mary set out in haste to the hill country to visit Elizabeth. Notice the, the, the exact language there. It's beautiful. Mary left in haste. Now, to picture just like God has just revealed to her that, that uh, the incarnation is going to be that she is now with child. She's pregnant with the Messiah. The Savior of the world is in her womb. And Mary, it's like she doesn't sit down and talk to her parents. She doesn't sit down and talk to Joseph. She doesn't like go to the priest and offer thanks. Like Mary is just obedient to what God asked her to do. And she sets out in haste now, immediately. No reflection, no, like boom, she's gone. She's in haste to go visit Elizabeth. Awesome, beautiful. Mary believed that Elizabeth was pregnant. Mary believed that she was pregnant. Mary believed that God said he was going to do something, and Mary believed that God was going to do it. Mary believed that God was active and alive and doing something in her life, and she was going to bend her life around that. Mary believed that God said he was going to do something and that he was going to come through in his promise. Mary believed, do you? Do you and I have that same type of um, unhindered trust? Do we believe that when God said he was going to do something in our life, that he's going to come through on what he said he's going to do? Because the same God that poured forth immense blessings in Mary is the same God that wants to do that in our own lives. The same God who, who, who came through in an impossible situation with Elizabeth's conceiving of John the Baptist is the same God that wants to come through in the impossible situations in our lives. Do you and I believe? Mary believed that it was possible for God to do something as miraculous as a virginal conception. Do you and I believe in God's miracles? Because underneath disbelief is grief and, and hopelessness. In other words, when you and I don't believe that miracles can happen in our lives, like underneath that, there's just a grief. Like we grieve the fact that, man, God can do something in somebody else's life, but He's not going to do it in my life. There's a grief that's there. And where there's grief about God's inactivity in our life, there's hopelessness. We just feel trapped in our situations. We feel trapped in the, the impossible barriers of our life. And so we're, when we live our lives in grief that God's not active in our life, and, and, and at the same time we feel hopeless, then we gaze upon the Advent story as if it was a 2,000-year-old narrative to just retell and the best we hope for at Christmas is Santa and maybe some presents under the tree can alleviate the pain in our life and, and, and maybe life just now is just as good as it gets and, and we're just going to do the best we can to get through life. And like I want to proclaim the truth to you today that life now as you know it is not as good as it gets. God has more for you and he has more for you this Christmas. God desires to bring freedom. He desires to bring miracles in our life, in your life, now, today. Like Merry Christmas already, like the Savior of the world has already come. And as we anticipate His, his birth this Christmas, we're, we're acknowledging that, that the Savior of the world, that God Himself has come so that we might believe in our lives. Where's God asking you to believe that he's heard you? 
Where is it God asking you to believe that he wants to do something? Where is God asking you to believe that a way is going to open where you don't see a way? A door is going to open where you just see obstacles. And if there's grief and hopelessness, like today, can you let him into that? Can you just give him permission to enter into that? Mary set out in haste because she believed. Where is God asking you to believe in miracles in your own life? God bless you.